I'm here with, uh, sitting with uh, Ewald Stoetler at the end of his uh, seminar. And uh, uh, Ewald, could you explain us shortly, uh, could you give us a summary of your method of yes. the disease classification? Yes. What, yes. what makes yes. it uh, specific? Yes. yes. Uh, first of all, it's not my method. I studied Hahnemann for about 30 years. And uh, during the study, I, I uh, stumbled over the fact that Hahnemann treated disease, not mm -hmm. the patient. Generally, the, the approach in classical homeopathy is that we treat the patient, mm -hmm. not the disease. While Hahnemann only talks about disease, different disease forms. Mm -hmm. So in paragraph 71 to 80, 81, he's only, he's, he makes a, a very distinct uh, discrimination between the different disease forms. Mm -hmm. so, there, so there are disease forms from the external sphere and there are chronic constitutional disease forms. The chronic constitutional disease forms he based are based on the miasmatic tendencies like psora, psychosis, syphilis. Mm -hmm. These are internal diseases. The external diseases like uh, incidents or uh, triggered acute miasmatic situations or epidemic diseases are other disease forms with a more acute character. So they have a starting point, they have a summit, and they are declining before disappearing. So they, they are acute, mm -hmm. sudden, intense, and are disappearing very quickly, or the patient dies because of the acute disease. The chronic disease is a quite a different approach. It's, it's slow. In case of psora, it is slow and slowly devol develop, devol uh, developing until eventually, after 10, 20, 30, 40 years, mm -hmm. the patient dies of chronic complaints because of the dynamic disturbance, this disturbance of his vital energy, dynamis, based on a slowing down influence of the psora. Mm -hmm. Psychosis is quite the opposite. It's quickly evolving, it's intense, it's overreacting. So there's a distinct di uh, difference between the psoric disease tendency and the psychotic disease tendency. Psora is slowing down and psychotic is overstimulating. And the third basic miasm is syphilis, mm -hmm. based on a self-destructive tendency. So we have slowing down, overreacting, and self-destructive. And these are the three basic miasms, internal constitutional disease forms, which, are, which, which we can recognize in the symptomatology, in the disease history, in the inherited tendency of the patient. So during the homeopathic interview, we acquire the totality of symptoms, and we are looking for the etiology, for the cause of the, dis of the, of the symptoms. The symptoms are the result, the end result of a disease manifestation, of a disease process. Looking for the etiology, we are looking for the cause. Some symptoms are primarily caused by psora. Some symptoms are caused by the syphilitic miasmatic tendency. And other symptoms are based on the psychotic tendency, which can be inherited. We can look in the ancestry for the cause of the psoric or syphilitic tendency. Syphilis in the, in the ancestry, gonorrhea in the ancestry, constitutional eczema in the ancestry, cancer in the ancestry, ancestry, tuberculosis in the ancestry, all pathological tendencies, which if there is no curative immune response from grandfather or grandmother against the, 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 the chronic disease, it is forwarded to the next generation. And we are born with a pathological tendency, which may be even in the first years latent, not manifest itself at all. And then some incident occurs, something happens, and then as a result of the, the internal uh, pathological, miasmatic, inherited tendency, 
a sudden flare-up of chronic disease arises. And Hahnemann makes a very distinct dis uh, discrimination between the groups of remedies that are indicated in the different di disease forms. So the chronic constitutional symptoms mm -hmm. are to be treated by mineral remedies. The antipsoric remedies are the mineral remedies. And he says about the plant remedies and the, ant rem uh, the, the animal remedies, those are remedies from the other uh, group. So antipsoric and the other homeopathic remedies. He makes a clear distinction between the constitutional remedies, mineral, and the plant remedies and the animal remedies which are indicated in acute diseases or acute flare-ups of chronic diseases. Mm -hmm. Similar to the distinction, distinction between the different disease forms, there are different remedies fitting the different disease forms. The acute diseases are to be treated with plant remedies, mineral, animal remedies. The chronic diseases are to be treated mainly by the mineral remedies and the inherited pathological tendencies, the miasmatic tendencies which we inherit from our ancestry, are to be treated with nosodes. So the classification of diseases of Hahnemann makes it possible to make a classification of different, different remedy groups also, which are curative in the different disease forms. And these remedies are complementary to one, one, one another. So very often in practice we see that when a patient has a deep acting, curative, deep, deep acting mineral remedy on the constitutional symptoms and there is not a curative response, that the reaction is blocked. Mm -hmm. Mostly it's blocked because of inherited pathological tendencies. Our ancestry has failed to acquire immunity against certain disease forms and this Weakness, weakening of immunity, this incapability of curing oneself is forwarded to the next generation and we need a nosote to cure this inherited tendency. So the nosote creates the space for our vital energy, for our immune system to curatively respond to a deep acting mineral remedy, our constitution consist of water and minerals. These mineral remedies have a big affinity with the, the, the vital energy, vital force. So the dynamis uses the minerals to create our body. So the minerals are the constitutional antipsotic remedies. So the nosote creates the space mm -hmm. for the mineral remedy to, for the dynamis to respond curative to the mineral remedy and, in, in, and it makes it possible and very much easier to cure chronic diseases. And in case of acute flare-ups, we need the acute remedies like the plant remedies or animal remedies. So the classification of disease is very consistent with the classification of different, different remedy groups and it makes it more accessible to make a distinction between the etiology of the, of the symptoms. Where does this symptom come from? If a symptom arises from the inherited pathological tendency, we cannot permanently cure this by the use of mineral remedies. We need so a, a symptom can have different, different causes. A, a symptom can arise from the constitutional predisposition of the mm -hmm. patient. A symptom can be triggered or caused by biographical uh, incidents. Mm -hmm. A symptom can be caused by uh, the use of allopathic drugs. And a symptom can also be caused, be, be caused by inherited pathological tendencies. The symptom is the result. When we only look, look at the result and the result is uh, uh, of, uh, the symptom is caused by the inherited tendency, then Hahnemann's experience was already that a plant remedy was not capable of curing the symptomatology on a permanent basis. So we need a remedy from a different class of uh, uh, group to cure these symptoms permanently.